Hi, welcome back. Today is day four of add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. And today we're going to be talking about what happens when our answer is either a an improper fraction or if it's not a simplified fraction. We haven't worried about simplifying up until this point, but it is definitely is something we need to be able to do. And hopefully you have practiced simplifying before. This should just be a little bit of a refresher. So we're not gonna look at actual adding subtracting problems today. We're just gonna remind ourselves about what to do when numbers aren't in their lowest terms. So 11 fifths, that probably kind of looks a little funny, right? Because normally we think that the numerator is a smaller number, but this is a perfectly good fraction right here. What we need to do though, if it needs to be put into um, lowest terms or if it asks you to make it into a mixed number, that means we're gonna have whole numbers mixed with fractions. And a whole number, this is more than one, so there is a whole number inside here. So what we do is we say, how many times does five go into 11? Five goes into 11 two times, and that would be 10, and then there would be one left over, and we keep the denominator. So we would have two and one fifth, two wholes, and then one fifth left over. There's also some that look like this, 21 sevenths. Well, how many times does seven go into 21? It goes in exactly three times. So it's not a mixed number, it's actually equal to a whole number. But these terms are easier to work with. So in certain, cir certain circumstances, it's easier to use a three than 21 sevenths. Unless you're adding fractions, then you might need this version. Okay, and then Here's another one that this one does not need to be changed into a mixed number, but it's not a simplified fraction. There is a number that goes into both 30 and 40. And the biggest one that I can think of would be 10. So we're gonna divide by one in the form of 10 over 10. 30 divided by 10 is three. 40 divided by 10 is four. It's easier to work with this than this. So if um, at the end of your answer, you can do this, but um, you could also look for simplifying fractions in the middle of a problem as well, which is what we're gonna talk about in the next lesson. Let's just look at a couple more examples. 5 tenths, well, if you divide by five over five, then you would get one half. or 16 eighteenths, if you divide it by two over two, because two goes into both of them, right? So 16 divided by two is eight. 18 divided by two is nine. Okay, so that's what we're talking about today, and good luck on the lesson. We will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.